Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Wednesday night. Hopefully, your week has been going pretty well. Hopefully, you've been enjoying it so far. And for tonight, we're gonna be kind of procrastinating more. Kind of sad. I've realized we've only beaten one game this year on the stream, but I think it's okay. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about. We'll, we'll definitely catch up on uh, beating games. Thankfully, this year's resolution is not really uh, beating more games than I buy. Because this year is definitely might actually be the year that breaks me. Especially the start of this year. There's so many games coming out. But for now, I'm gonna be enjoying playing a little bit of Didicarus. And there's a reason why, actually. So if you're accustomed to knowing Proton John, you know I moderate for him. He's one of the people I moderate for. He's actually currently doing uh, Dead Space 2 multiplayer night. Playing with viewers, whether those subs or not subs. And as a backup, just in case if everything fell through, I was looking for games to race. And so we're naming random games. Everyone's you know throwing, uh, you know everyone's making their suggestions and such. And this was actually one game that came to mind. And after I made that suggestion, and after we walked away from it, I couldn't help but keep on thinking about it. So much so that I actually want to play this game. I want to play through it. I want to beat it again. I've actually played this game quite a few times. I not I'm not a master at it or anything like that, so it took me to die a lot, but still. I actually really enjoy this game. It's always been a lot of fun. So it's gonna be a little uh <laughs> a little bit dark, but I guess I'll be fine. As you can see the resolution here is uh a little locked in. This is actually why I would like like an overlay. And everything. Kedicris, Angel Land Story. Very straightforward. And we can just jump on, right on in. Because this is a fun game to play. So, there's actually a point. Usually, it would do something like a, uh. You know, obviously a race, you would actually want to go through this as quickly as possible? Really? <laughs> Alright. But there's actually a reason why I'm actually going a little bit slow here. There, there, of course, there's a chance of me actually dying, because the reason why Kid, Icar Kid Icarus is a really, really difficult game is... Well... You can die very easily. Because your entire user interface is actually right on the very top left there. And... You have that much health. You can take like two hits. That's pretty much it. But let me just actually get these guys. Score and such is actually very important in this game. Uh, you know, depending on how much you play this game, I play this game quite a bit, but not to the point of mastery or anything like that, because this is actually can be a very long game, depending especially how quickly you're going through it. I mean, you can go through this game pretty quickly rushing through it, but by doing so, you're making the game a lot more difficult. Because, I think if anything, a lot more people are not so much used to... Uh, well, let's just be frank, they're not used to... They are not used to, uh... Vertical scrolling. Especially right off the bat. It makes it very difficult. It makes it very difficult. To actually get a good score. Ah, oh, come on, really? Because score is definitely what you want to try and stack on at first. It's actually worthwhile. Uh, to go slow at first, versus going quickly. And those hammers will be very important later on. For now, we're just gonna grab those. And we're going to risk our lives. Because one, one, one thing that makes this game actually really cool is that it's also a game... Oh, that was actually really close. This 
it's a very deadly game. Like, you, you know, there's infinite continues, so there's no really actually game overing or anything like that, thankfully. You know, so you don't actually have to really worry about anything like that. But what's actually important, though, is that you get as much score as possible. Come on. Turn around. Ah, darn it. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Unfortunately, the Grim Reaper does spawn her minions. There we go. Grab that, grab that, and we can go into the store here. No, we don't want to actually go in there. So the reason why we didn't want to go in there is because there's two actual factors that you uh, want to be able to gain. is strength and your health. And this is also pretty much why most people hate Kid Icarus. This section right here, and many more, many more like it. And end up getting the Grim Reaper that just spawns there for no good reason. The reason why this game is very difficult, like I said, it's very easy to die, as in super early. Just wait for it to turn around. I don't know why I call the Grim Reaper a her, but... Maybe because I'm thinking of Medusa. There we go. So your actual score is actually extremely important in this game. So you want to actually make sure you're getting an extremely high score. Eat that thing. You can kill that thing, but it's very likely he'll actually hit you before you kill him. Ah! Uh, we flank. There you go, finish 1-1. One, one. But the goal is definitely to try and get as many points and hearts. As possible. Personally, it's it's really about the it's about the hearts, or it's about getting the kills. So that's why it's kind of actually nice to go slow at first. Ooh, that was unexpected, because it'll pay off in the long run. You know, it's it's thing of like just difference between a short term and long term strategy, because these guys just keep on spawning. Like they'll eventually run out. And if you die, unfortunately, you literally start right from scratch. Like, right, not at level 1, but you'll start at the level you died at, with the points you have and everything. So it's actually very, very friendly, actually, in that regard. But it's because this game is notor considered notoriously difficult, I was actually surprised, like, getting a reaction of, Oh dear god, this game is super difficult from the other mods. Just simply because... And I don't blame them, you know, it's like the first level is rough. I mean, this is all the as much health you have. There's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of rooms that just instantly... that can absolutely just destroy you. Don't need the health. But you have rooms like this here. I mean, these guys give a lot of hearts, but unfortunately... No, thank you. Or not. Just... Come on. like to be able to shoot you. I don't know why my platforming is doing terrible right now. I am using an emulator for this, unfortunately. I do own the game. I've played through it many times. And I own it on WiiWare. Which reminds me, I need to actually take some time and, uh... Have myself a bunch of WiiWare points. Because that is going the way of the dinosaur. Oh, 
Oh, this is really bad, actually. And yes, that is actually has ice. This has ice uh, physics on it right now. This is actually a nightmare situation. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get as many points and hearts as possible. You, that, there, okay. Yep. So, obviously, if you fall... I'm actually surprised I got that. If you fall, uh, you're, you're dead. Like, that, it's that simple. And thankfully, though, you can go left to right. Uh, very much like, uh, a good old round of ice climbers. Alright, so... Charge. And it's actually good that you spawn... You go up slowly. And the reason you want to actually go up slowly at first, aside from just simply getting the hearts... I'm not gonna get that one. Is... Of course, I'm just that short. Is they spawn in waves. So it's actually really good to... Uh, wait and just kill as many things as possible. Because if you climb up too quickly, you're basically just kind of skipping on... Skipping out on points, skipping out on waves. And skipping out on score. Score and skill points will let you increase your strength and vitality. Actually, yeah. Yep, I had a feeling about that one. Ah, oh, darn it. Might actually... No! Why am I doing that? That was really dumb of me. It's one of those, this is one of those awkward situations where, unfortunately, come on, turn for, yeah, she does actually have a visible range. Thankfully, can't spawn anymore. I gotta grab that, and I'm gonna go in this door. Because that has more enemies! Oh my god, please. I think I actually found an accidental safe space here. I did actually, that's surprising. <laughs> um, there's actually usually always like a single safe area where you can go. A little weird, but if you do it right, it's really worth it. Look how many hearts we have now. The max amount of hearts you can carry is 999. But you really got to be careful on no. You're platforming. Platforming in this game is very crucial. There are items that will help you uh should you fail at your platforming skills. There's no shame in that whatsoever, especially in this game. <laughs> because you will most likely if you if this is your first time playing through a Kid Icarus game, you will most likely die a lot. Emphasis on a lot. But I like this game. To me, it's like a weird, fun adventure game. Like a reverse dungeon crawler or something like that. Oh, if I get this right, I can actually cheese good old Grim Reaper here. Basically, Grim Reaper here gets stuck there. And I can just freely shoot at my own leisure. So that feather there, if I actually do end up falling, it will automatically proke. I think what I'll do is I'm going to hang on to my hearts. Assuming, hopefully I can live. I want to be... I don't want to lose my all, this, all these hearts I've gotten, but there's still a chance I can just fall to my own death. It can happen. It has happened. And when I was practicing this, it, it did happen. But for now, what I'm basically all, of, all after is as many points as possible. So that's the reason why I'm go trying to go through these stages fairly slowly. All right, this area. No. So what are we gonna do? We're actually going to take our time and we're gonna ascend up you can get pushed 
I will say that right now. You can get pushed, you can die, and it'll be a horrible, horrible thing. And you'll rage, rage with a fury of a thousand suns. More snakes. The important thing right now is that I'm just killing them. This is the part where the game kind of teaches you, hey, you can go through a lot of stuff. Fortunately, I don't have the longbow, so I'll be dealing with the Grim Reaper here, unfortunately. Assuming... Oh, can't do that. Yeah, so I'm going to be dealing with the Grim Reaper here. And I'm actually surprised I didn't get killed on that one. Alright, fine. Whatever. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> I was... There we go. I'm being extremely lucky here. Just now that I said that, I'm doomed. Ah, right, the octopus. Uh... Okay. No, that's right, they take two hits. I forgot about that. So let's go in here. Glad you came, Pit. Here, take this. And now, I'm a green pit. That means I can actually kill these guys in one shot now. Because to actually gain strength... I must let myself die there. really bad. <laughs> there is no avoiding this. Alright, this is actually really bad. I just want to get through this stage here. Alright, part of me is really greedy. <laughs> there we go. Unfortunately, that extra arc container there... Unfortunately, as you can see, is just empty health. But like I said, it's very important that you get that as soon as possible, because if I die here, and I could just in intentionally die, uh, it'll actually let me respawn with full health. I'm not going to do that because, well, I'm not that type of person, and I'm gonna never say die type of person. But like I said, if you play the slow game, you take your time, you farm points, and you get as many kills as possible, you'll be sure to max out your strength and max out your health. Because uh, this game loops. It's an endless loop. So you just constantly keep on playing. Oh. I think this is a... No, this is another gamble. Uh, another... Ooh. Please don't kill me. Another room full of Groucho Marks. That. Those two. There we go. Ah, damn it. I don't even think... No, I can grab it. Controls are a bit stiff, because it's just shown its age. This is the part where I start dealing with the octopus. Octopus and lava pits. Lovely. Oh, no, more octos. More squids. Wonderful, wonderful squids. Come on, 
Now I'm just being a show off. Ah! Lava. Damn it! I really want those snakes to actually go away. Alright. Hopefully... Okay, so I can actually... No, I'm not going to. There's a reason why. There's a reason why I'm gonna take a risk. If I die, like I said, I'll just start on this stage over again. Uh, I don't remember the right, the right... Well, there's not really a right path. It's more of, it's more of a path. Ooh. Gambling house. Uh, I I don't really don't do. I used to actually love the gambling houses, but like I actually ended up reading a uh, a Q about this game, and apparently the way to actually make sure you get uh, more strength, which is make sure you actually do more damage, it's actually related to uh, amount of kills you actually do, and if you actually get hit and such. Doesn't have to actually do with getting hearts, but just actually getting the kills. So it's actually very important that you actually take the time. So, like, increasing your health takes, uh, getting kills. Like, they're both basically connected to score, but one's an indirect versus a direct. So, anytime you want more health, you need to make sure you have a higher score. But to get a to actually get more strength from the strength rooms. That's the only way to actually get it. God, or a god, gives you, uh... gives you an error that increases your strength. You need to get a certain amount of points. And not like score, but just indirect. Oh no. No! I'm finished. About to happen anyway. So there you go. Now I have full health. Unfortunately, like I said, everything resets. So your points, your score, your hearts, everything. So why don't we just try and go through this a little bit quicker, shall we? And because we can't, we're just gonna. Hey, how's it going, Trinity? How are you doing tonight? I'm just gonna be playing through a little bit of Kid Icarus. So I feel like playing through this game and I feel like beating it. I don't know if I can beat it in two hours, but I think actually I can give it a shot. He tells me if I try hard enough, I can. I really shouldn't have done it that way. I'm kind of farming points as well, intentionally. This was definitely a safe spot. You don't even think you've seen old Kid Icarus? Well, now you have. And you'll be, and hopefully, if I actually play my cards right, shouldn't be too bad. I might actually be able to beat this game. Assuming we don't make any dumb mistakes like that again. Like I said, it's gonna be slow at first, just because even though I now have two containers of health, and you can see there in the upper left-hand corner, it's those blocks there, uh, I could do dumb mistakes and fall, because you notice, we're ascending! Because everything has to be done vertically. So while someone like 
Well, everyone else. Damn it. Stupid. Now I'm gonna grab your heart. I'm trying to think, like, what. I think it was Samus, actually. It was Metroid. Like, Metroid basically got the vertical. Oh no, got the horizontal, and Kit Pit got the, uh, uh, vertical. That was the gimmick. I don't even know what- why do I even go to the shop? I don't need to go into the shop. Yes, you have everything, but I want to save up for longer range. I think I'll go a little bit faster this time around. Because you can actually go- you can actually go through these, uh, stages very quickly. Like I said, I'm hungry for points. Because more points means you'll get more health. If you get more points, well, you can survive. And yes, some floors you can just, uh, just, uh, make, for force yourself through with just by pressing down. So that'll be very remin- Ah, oh, come on. Guess I shouldn't complain. Some points is better than no points. But this is what made Kid Icarus so difficult back in the day. It was a, the first world that you go through is an ascent. It is nothing but vertical. I am gonna get hit by that. Yes, you do die if you fall down. So, this is where I died last time, because I was trying to get away from these damn octopus. Probably should have just kept ascending. But I am... I'm being greedier than normal, I'll be honest about that. I'm being incredibly greedy. Like, trying to actually get as many points as possible. Like, that's how greedy I'm actually being. Like, I'm already at the max amount of, uh... I'm almost near the max amount of hearts you can actually carry, which is 999. That's a little absurd, actually, for most people playing this game. Play now, and if you ever played a game like Ice Climbers, you can actually... of those hearts, unfortunately. Probably shouldn't actually be grabbing all those, uh, but I would have been getting. If you grab this harp, Be able to really use that. Yeah, no, I wasn't able to use it. Oh, that's not good. So you gotta be actually pretty precise in your platforming here, too. I'm running away. That's not what I want either. But yeah, you die if you fall down in this game. It's just really the. Honestly, it's just the first world that's really, really bad. I'm kinda going to be racing through this now. As we are actually at max. Alright, uh, maybe I shouldn't actually deal with the Reaper. I don't want to deal with her and her minions. As I just stated. Uh, 
Oh. I hope you I hope you brought your A game when it comes to platforming, because that's what this game is. You need to be on point with your platforming skills. Thankfully though, the jumping in this game is actually pretty generous. It doesn't dedic it doesn't you're not committed. Uh thank you. Hello, Grim Reaper. How you doing? How you doing, Grim Reaper? See, Grim Reaper took a lot less hits that time. You have a B game at best? That'll be enough. B game is perfect. Can you endure this harsh trial, harsh training? So... This is lit- you can actually die here. This is a training, so you need to actually survive this. If you remember... I guess this actually- this room actually easily took it, uh... I guess, what was it? Link to the Past took inspiration. And I am actually surprised. No, these discs are hitting me. Or tiles are hitting me. Oh, there we go. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. I am so lucky. So, these are actually... So, if you actually look, there's three weapons you can actually collect. You're after three treasures. We're actually gonna take the bow. What that'll do, once I leave this room, it'll actually give me longer range. Uh, actually, apparently I can't use it yet. Uh, it's active in the... I forgot it's active in the labyrinth only. Alright, well... Hi there, goodbye, Grim Reaper. Goodbye. I'm leaving you. Kinda farmed a lot of points. We really shouldn't have two, uh, containers of health. So, here we are. This is actually the first labyrinth. There is actually a map. Oh, I guess it actually won't be active until I, uh... Oh! There's no reason for me to stick around here, actually. Those enemies will just keep on spawning. There's the map. Those little, ur those little urns there will constantly spawn enemies. And these little statues here are actually very important. So if I actually use my hammer, I can actually crack them open, because these are actual soldiers of Palutena that have been, uh... that have been taken by, uh, that have been frozen in stone by Medusa, and they'll actually help me against the boss in this dungeon. So I actually have to find the, find the boss, kill the boss, and then we'll be moving on. So uh, we're not gonna deal with that yet. Of that. Like I said, this is a pure labyrinth. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, there is somewhere in here. I can die here, so I'd prefer not to die, but I, it might happen. I don't remember where the first aid room is in this place. This is also a really good area where you'll probably end up, um... Probably end up getting most of your points in this area. Unfortunately, you can't actually destroy that. Like I said, this is this is why I'm not an expert at this game. I don't have this place memorized. I'm not a speedrunner by any imagine by any trade. But we should be able to beat this game within a reasonable amount amount of time. <clears throat> I know this hard space I kinda went to waste. What is that? Where 
where the heck is that help? That first aid stick. All right, I forgot about you. Uh, I think this might. Nope. Wait. We'll be fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Everything is fine. Okay. So I'm actually gonna hit that. Now let me get up here. So those are the eggplant wizards, the legendary eggplant wizards. I'm actually gonna buy that. I'm using money. So actually, you can press start, and so I press start here. I actually have the map, but as you can see here, everything's just a uh, well, everything's just blocked out. What you actually can do is buy with your hearts the pencil here and the torch. That'll actually tell you where you are. Your map is waffle. It is the squarest of it is the squarest of waffles. So I can't actually buy this, you know, because we can. I'll, for demonstration purposes, I'll actually buy it. So we'll buy the we'll buy the stuff. I'm not actually I shouldn't be worried about hearts. We're gonna be getting tons. So we're gonna leave here. Ah! That actually is really bad. We're just gonna tank that because we grabbed the health. Right, I forgot about that. And we're now an eggplant. Oh! I'm a dummy. <laughs> I completely forgot about those guys. That's fine. So basically everything returns back to status quo. Let's actually just free these soldiers here. Actually, I think if I remember correctly, the way around this dungeon is you have to actually go the long way. You have to go up and around. I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was. It's it's been a while. Like I said, this is really the place you'll end up uh, farming most, if not all, of your points. And I think what will happen go here. It'll, yeah. Okay. So yeah. So what you're actually meant to do is they want you to go all the way around and fall to your left there. So the actual way to the first aid st I was actually heading to the right way to the first aid station. Wait, can I actually... Hang on, I'm actually curious now. Damn, unless I pull that off. No, I don't think I can actually. I'm gonna kill you just in case. I think you can do a short op. No, you can't. Yeah, so. If you actually screw up, you have a long way to walk. So let's actually get through this dungeon, shall we? Yes, it is. Uh, let's hit that. I'm just gonna use all my hammers. If I head back to the right, that'll actually lead back to the uh, hospital. So if I do get eggplant, uh, well, you saw what happens. I think it's actually kind of rude, honestly, for uh, first for the first dungeon, just simply because they throw not just a first set, but they throw two sets at you. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, thankfully, there's invincibility frames. Gonna let the 
these snakes fall down. Actually, I'm gonna kill them. Except for that one. That one gets to live. So... So if I had the torch and pencil, I basically would know... I wouldn't, if, you know, if I had the torch and pencil, I'd be able to actually use that and find, hey, this is actually the way I need to go. Because everything else is not leading towards the boss. Uh, leaves this way? Yeah, yeah, here we go. So, this is actually the... If you ever played Kid Icarus Uprising, they languish about uh, hot springs. This is the hot spring. That was the hot spring back in the day. These guys uh, give a ton of hearts. Oh, bollocks. Uh, I think this was actually the way I need to go. Yeah. These are the last of our hammers. It's usually best to ignore the eggplants. Do your best to ignore them. It's usually for the best. Here we go. So this is the, actually the room right before the boss. There isn't anything we're actually missing. In the lab in all the labyrinth stages, it is literally just find the boss, hunt the boss, kill the boss. And he's our first enemy. So Palutena's soldiers are helping us here. Once that last one dies, three others will take their place until I run out of soldiers to help to help us out here. So they all have equal strength to me. It's a very straightforward life. This is a very, very straightforward game. You don't have to worry about that, Trinity. Uh, like I said, the best part about commentating is you learn kind of to do it yourself. So you know you don't really ever have to worry about if you know someone is responding. Oh yeah, by the way, the longbow we actually now have is active, and. This probably should have been the, uh, <laughs> this actually probably should have been the actual, uh, first stage of Kid Icarus. Because now, as you notice, we have a side-scroller! We are actually side-scrolling now. I'm only going, I'm going to grab that bottle just because it's... We need to be able to spend our money on something. Thankfully, all these rock people are more than happy to drop on by. Like I said, score is everything if you want to get as much health. And also, when you actually enter... Sometimes if you enter through, through these doors, there are actually uh, strength shops. Lots of value. I said, lots of value in actually going out of your way to kill those guys. I'm kind of going slow. I really probably could easily... I could pick up the pace a lot. Hey, hot spring. No, honestly, that's what I like to do, honestly, when I play through a lot of games nowadays. When I'm realizing, like, that's my commentary style. Is informational. Damn it. Don't squish me! It is also really good at jumping, thankfully. The rocks are just worth a lot more. Oh, crap! I forgot about that. So this is actually the first stage where they started launching these enemies at you. Little ant lion. Let's just call them ant lions. They probably have a better name, but for now, ant lions. Now that I have the longbow, I can actually 
don't really have to worry so much about range being an issue. See? And we're already back at 9.99. Yeah. So there's no actual active consumables in this game. I should actually also state that. But if I want power, I have to make sure I'm actually getting enough kills in each level. Well, maybe not each level, but if there is a stage, if there is a stage where you can actually uh, get the upgrades, I should say, you want to be able to actually get kills. Like, I may not be interested in the points any in the hearts anymore. Damn it. And there's still pits. You can still die. Look at those lovely lips on those things. What the? Oh, Fine, I'd rather get hit by them. So that's a barrel. I'm actually, you know, I'm, I'm actually realizing now after on this playthrough here, it's like, wow, they really do throw a lot at you. Like, a lot of health. No, that's not health, Sapphire. That's not health, uh, it's currency. Arts are currency in Kid Icarus. A little bit more forward, hopefully more rocks will probably fall, or never mind. A little, little weird enemies here. I'm not actually gonna go for that, that's just dumb. Those guys will respawn once the hearts despawn. That's gambling room, I don't want to do a gambling room. Not da- ah, oh, damn it, that was down. Yeah, so, this is a game, so that, in the, in the, beneath the number there, is actually how much, uh, is how much, uh, health I have. Now, I wish I could better illustrate that, but do you see that final little block there? That's how much health you actually start out in this game. And there you go, there's a nice strength up, because we killed more than enough enemies, we got enough skill points. So now we gotta get, we gotta get more points, we gotta get more skill points. That little last block there at the end is actually how much uh, health you start out in this game. Could you imagine, just just conceptualize for a second, imagine going through The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, or any Legend of Zelda game really, with just... Really? Can you do that to me? With one heart. Like, one heart container. Imagine that for a second. Like, that's how you, well, how you start out. actually gonna opt out on that. There's a lot of items you can buy there. The feather there, if I fall in a pit, that's actually... Really? Come on, guys. If I fall in a pit, um... Is that? No, they shoot above it. Never mind. I am doing terrible here. Come on. No, I want those rocks. Uh, no, I don't want those, though. Stupid ant lions. I'm just gonna count my graces there. And also go up here. Ooh, I hope I can. Ah, uh, that's not good.
Oh, well. So, the reason why I bought the bottle... So, you see that barrel there? That's actually empty. Uh, I bought a bottle, and that basically, if I ran out of health, which I did, I would actually, uh... Uh, let's get the wand. Oh, come on! Really like to be. I need to actually just gun it through the rest of the stage. That or find a hot spring or a store. Okay, yeah, this store was a uh, was a skill area. I could have actually. I could have actually gotten a lot. I could have gotten two strength upgrades actually. I am very disappointed in myself now. Don't shoot that projectile at me. Hopefully, we actually got at least more health. room, not gonna bother with that. Oh! How lovely! Lovely start. Not gonna deal with that. Get that heart. Now, I really like this game. This, to me, is a game that's fun to actually play. I don't know about race, but it's like I kind of threw it out there as an option because, like, eh, it's it's something that people like. Like, I like Kid Icarus. I mean, I'm pretty wrong, but I would like to think people like Kid Icarus. Ah, damn it. Get over here. Well, I'm one hit away from death. That's just lovely. But as you can see, basically, the reason why I want to farm all those points, not so much the hearts, the hearts are currency. But the points are for... The hearts are for currency, but the reason I want to get all those kills... Surprised, actually. That's another strength upgrade uh, store. It's actually really bad at this time. I would... Thank you, Hot Spring. Thank goodness. We're saved. We're not gonna die. Like I said, if you're really good at this game, because... You want to get kills in this game, because if you get enough kills... You will actually... Get out of the hot spring here, that ding is actually gonna drive people crazy. Um... If you get enough kills, you can basically get stronger arrows. So here's actually a pause menu here, there's my total score, there's my score for this uh, stage. Hearts, currency, endurance, that's your health bar, uh, which is only increased dependent on your high score. But strength, strength is a factor that's actually determined by how many times you get hit, how many enemies you kill, uh, if they, you know, it's an enemy that drops a small heart, a medium-sized heart, or a large heart, the points value will vary there. And if you get enough in a certain section, uh, you, anytime you enter those doors, there's been sometimes those places that have been empty, you'll actually get, uh, a strength upgrade, which will upgrade your damage. So right now we're at three. I believe the max is five, maybe six? It's been a while. But what we actually have right now, I'm just gonna keep on going here because this is not exactly the best place to farm points. We actually have two weapons right now. We have the longbow, we have the protective shield. Basically, this gives me the ability to kill enemies. Uh, basically, as long as they're touching the, as long as they're touching the gems, they'll take damage. And I believe the damage is equal to whatever your strength level is. But norm, unless. Unless you get robbed. Unless you get robbed. Okay. Well, we just got robbed. We lost- we lost all our weapons. I completely forgot about those guys. They exist in this game. So we don't have a longbow, we just lost our- we also lost the crystal, uh, protection there.
Uh, not to worry too much, I guess. Stupid thieves. Yeah, so if these guys actually touch you, they don't hurt you. They just take your weapons. So basically, that's the one time you basically learn, hey, they take your stuff. Your stuff's important. My knowledge, I, I think you can kill him. I'm fairly confident you can kill him. You also have a pretty big hitbox too, just to let you know. Oh, uh, I forgot! This is ice! This is ice! I completely forgot about that. That was ice. Thankfully, I won't have to deal with the Grim Reaper uh, anytime soon. So the interesting part about this, I guess I should tell say what the story is. In this game, uh, Medusa basically won. Uh, Medusa basically took over, uh, Angel Land. From Palutena, so... And every single one of her soldiers have either been turned to stone, with the exception of Pit, who was locked up in the Underworld. And Palutena uses the last of her, you know, her power to free Pit from the Underworld. So his mission is obviously to, you know, finish Pal uh Finish, uh... Da, 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 let me use my head here for a second. Uh, finish off Palu uh, finish off Medusa and save Palutena and all of Angel Land. Uh, I don't know if he sells anything else. I think he's a one-timer. Yeah, he's a one-timer. Alright, well, I have my longbow back again. I forgot the... Basically, your... How to say it... Ah. Actually, perfect. Your weapons are actually determined on, uh... on how much health you have. So if you have a lot of health, hey, great. Uh, but if you don't have much, you, you might actually not be able to use your weapons. I forgot they're endurance-based. Ah. Sorry, if you fall in this area here, you will die instantly. And you can actually press down on these areas and just fall through these platforms. So you can indirectly commit suicide. Well, you gotta be very careful in these platforming segments. If you do have the feather, though, you can skip it. Oh, right, I forgot those guys are actually, uh. Those guys are supposed to be there. Like I said, ironically enough, this game is actually at its hardest at the very start, and then depend because you get better at it and you get and you have more health and such, uh, you actually do better. The game actually becomes easier. Really, guys? Come on. Don't ever feel like you're pressured to go after every single heart. I am noticing, I am really starting to realize just how many these rooms there are. Can you do that? You just play the game? You know, I never played the Game Boy one. I'm actually curious about that. If you could, if you'd want to tell me stuff about the Game Boy one, I'd be more than happy to listen about or read about it. It sounds interesting, honestly. Because that was actually one of the other games I, like, I, I didn't suggest it, but, it, uh, apparently, was it, Smash Tunes and Proton John actually really, like, apparently loved the Game Boy one. Or they knew about it. 
Like, they enjoyed playing it, I guess. Would probably be the best way to describe this. Uh, nope, I was gonna take it. Oop. Nice! Just enough to get my wand back. Yo! And just to let you know, I don't have a second controller plugged in, uh, so I can't do... So, there is actually one thing you can do. Um... In this game. If you actually have the second controller, uh, plugged in, if you press, was it, I believe it's A and B, you could actually, uh, bargain. There we go, cool. You can actually bargain in this game and the shop might actually reduce its prices. But it can fail, and if you fa and if it, they, you know, it's a failure, uh, what will actually happen? I want to actually stop these guys here. Give me those hearts. Those big hearts. Big hearts. I want those big hearts. Nice. All of them. I never realized just how much they actually give you. How am I missing all of these guys? I know these jars never stop spawning, the lily eyes. Very good and very hard at the beginning as well, so very similar to the NES version. Uh, it's mostly go up instead of sideways. No, you, no. You, you just described literally what Kid Icarus here is too. This is actually, the, this is actually the second world. We are actually in the second world. This is not the first world. This is the second world <laughs> in Kid Icarus. So, it is exactly the same. Most of this game is actually spent going, uh, <clears throat> going, uh, vertically, not horizontally. I think, actually, now that I think about it, this World 2 here is actually the only, uh, horizontal world. Everything else is actually vertical, aside from, obviously, the... Well, actually, no, I guess it's 2 and 2, because... I guess it would be 2 and 2, now that I think about it. Because there's three worlds, really. Yeah, Apple did not fall far from the tree there, I'll tell you that much right now. I probably really shouldn't be doing, like, farming all these enemies, but I do really want to actually get as many strength upgrades as possible. Oh, of course. Nope. Not gonna gamble. I think if you're on your last heart container, you'll actually lose the effects of your weapons. So it's actually very important that you don't. why that is, actually, now that I think about it. No, you can just say goodbye. Ah, come on. Really, guys? Okay. Hi, Rox. I'll be... I am so glad. Enough. Uh, we have enough boulders falling through. Uh, what do you gamble in those rooms? Uh, so what you actually end up gambling is your hearts. Anytime you break a barrel, uh, you'll actually... Uh, you actually get... Well, you... Well, you... So basically, you spend hearts to break a chest, but you can get a big heart. Um, you don't get any health from it, though. Basically, you're gambling hearts for more hearts. Really? Come on. I really don't want to... My weapons, please. Maybe I might be incorrect. No, maybe I'm wrong. 
Because I do need to still worry about actually surviving. Take your pick, let's grab the fire. Now let's actually... Let's... Alright, we need to do something about this. The moment I grab that, the snakes are gonna fall out. Next thing I can buy, I'm buying a bottle. I am buying a bottle. I need a hot spring, that's what I need. That's what I need over anything else right now, a bottle or a hot spring. I am actually playing very badly poorly here, just to let you know right now. I'm gonna try and speed this up a little bit here. Let's go in here. Bottle, sweet. I haven't gotten many hammers though. So that's fine. Don't need to worry too much. If there's a chalice, I'm grabbing the chalice. Nope, okay. I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, hammers. Actually, I just realized we haven't had any hammers. Damn it! Stop doing that. I'd like to keep the bottle, please. I'm actually gonna start not worrying about. If I'd actually pay attention. No! Uh. <sighs> okay, good, we still have it. I forgot those platforms go through. <sighs> I really hate these snakes. Very painful platforming in this game. Come on, let me in, let me in. No! Well, there goes my... There goes my bottle. I mean, I wanted it. I didn't need it, but I wanted it. That was the difference. No! I forgot, the graveyard actually has those guys. Alright, we're lucky there. Uh. Ah, of course, Black Market doesn't have anything... Is Black Market's still always too expensive. Please don't spawn any more thieves. Please don't spawn any more thieves. Aren't grave robbers. I know, I gamble with my life. Ironically enough, that's actually the one thing I haven't been doing. <gasps> ah! Not... Thank you. 
door is right there. I know it is. You can't really tell what enemies are in the Game Boy version, so this kind of weird seeing them are just eyeballs and noses. Yep. It's really creepy. Well, at least we have five containers of health. But we can only take one hit. So let's die, shall we? Also, your weapons are disabled in the, uh, in the dungeons. Unfortunately, I think we, yeah, we didn't actually get any hammers. That is fra- Ah! <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Alright, well, we, after this we can freeze through. So thankfully they do give you- They have a heart. They actually do give you two heart containers. But we don't actually have any hammers, unfortunately, so all these stone soldiers are not gonna be able to help us against, uh, our next boss. I'm trying to remember who our boss is. I'm not gonna worry about- I'm not gonna worry about the map. Uh, and slide. Yeah, so... A lot of these labyrinths were more, I think I remember correctly, like, the way you solved these labyrinths was, um... Whatever the longest way around is, is the correct solution. That's if I remember it correctly. And I know it sounds dumb, but that's actually kind of how a lot of these were actually designed back then. Thankfully, this, the game, this actually does give you a lot of hearts. And I mean a lot. Like, you could sit down, farm for points, and... Uh, just get everything you need. I think... I don't remember which way was to the hot spring. It's been way too long. I actually don't have these, uh, these places memorized. If I had one more strength, these guys would be easy to kill. <gasps> well, I know which way I'm in. I'm actually going. I'm going. I'm actually going the right direction. I'm going towards the boss. Not touch the eggplants, please. If I had that, that would have been very nice. That's not the way to go. See, there is actually a benefit if you do. Really? <laughs> uh, we might stonewall a little bit here. I think I might actually buy that chalice. Oh, well, there was the map. Right, you have to jump for it. This was actually where the... This direction was the hot spring. No, that was a hospital. Damn it. Where was the hot spring in this place? There was always go there was always a hot spring in each of the labyrinths. No, that's not it. That's too... Any negative on ramifications? No, it does not affect your score. So this is actually... Silly enough, this is actually one of those games where... It had a password system, so if you actually wanted to... That's definitely actually not the way we need to go. If you actually wanted to... Oh, I guess, shoot, I guess I have to... I guess... Oh, never mind, I have to actually go that way. Um... There was actually no repercussions. So, the reality was, the reason you would actually want to play this game... You can play this game just in one city. No problem, like I'm doing right now. But, uh, what you could do... There we go. Is, you could do password system... Uh, sorry, these guys... Eggplant wizards are notoriously... Uh... 
they're pretty much like the the mascot enemy, I guess, of the game. Because if those eggplants land on you, I am doing terrible here. You can get through this without actually getting hit. It's a little difficult, though. There we go. Yeah, pretty much. You get hit by one of those eggplants, you are... It was nice knowing you. Way too many enemies. Thankfully, the hitbox on the arrows are gigantic. Sorry, stone soldiers are gonna use you as a platform. <sighs> really? All right. There it is! Oh, thank goodness. I was wondering where the heck the life spring was. Oh, the hot spring. So, no, there's no negative ramifications of dying aside from completely starting over on the stage you died on. It'll remember how many hearts you have, what your score is, it'll remember everything. So, there was actually a major. I guess you would say benefit? I think the only thing that might not be remembered in the password was your score? I can't remember that though, I, I'm not 100% certain on that. Uh, why don't you just buy that? Like, if you're after increasing your strength in the game, yep, this is actually, this is actually where I need to be. need to kill him, but I need to actually watch out for him. We are actually heading right towards the boss. I actually know this now. No really care about- There's actually real- this Score is actually really important about this game, though. Score is actually really important about this game. Because if you want more health, you need to have a high score. That's the reason. to remember. I think this actually all goes the same direction. Come on. Yeah, so that goes the same direction. Yeah, but score is actually important. Score is very important in this game. Like, if you want to actually make sure you are going to survive the game long term, you want a high score. Yeah, we're definitely heading towards the boss. Uh. Like, you probably wouldn't be doing what I do to an insane level, because you'd probably have five heart containers when you reach the third world, not the second. Walk I'm probably walking back. No, I'm not walking backwards. Okay. Really? No. No dead lobs. No dead lobs, eggplant man. Right, I'm gonna go left. Okay. No! Well, now I have to do the whole lap over again. So you should remember where we are right now. <laughs> we have to do the whole thing all over again. I need I needed to go up. But that's why the hospital's there, they actually removed the eggplant curse. Whoops. That's why everyone hates eggplants. That is why everyone hated the eggplant wizard. Uh. 
You fight a lot of eggplants, just to let you know. Close. If I didn't duck, I would have actually get hit. Yeah, back in the day, this was extremely brutal. It kind of still is for a lot of people. It's real, honestly, like in the labyrinths, it's the eggplants you just need to watch out for. It's always the eggplants you need to watch out for. There's nothing worse than having to deal with the eggplants. And if I remember correctly, if you actually go down on any of those, you are... Sorry. One second. One! No! Okay, so there actually is a positive. So this census game actually does have, uh... Invincibility frames. You can actually... It's actually better for you to take damage. Because then you won't be affected by the eggplant curse. So get hit, and then you're immune from eggplant wizards. I didn't need to jump. No matter which way I go. So, I need to kill those two eggplants and then head up. I might actually be able to beat this game in time. I'm playing very... I'm being sloppy, but might actually be able to do it. Unless that happens. Ah, come on. I want to be able to just kill you. Uh, can I pull that off? I can. So this should be the way to... Yep, this is the way to the boss. This is the boss room. You can always tell the boss room because of the way the... Uh, let's just call them Easter Island heads. Just for the sake of argument. Kind of how I always looked at those guys. And I wish, like, I feel bad, actually. Uh, so our first boss actually was Cerberus. Our next boss here, well, it's, I'm trying to remember its name. It, it was the, the Hydra, I think it was. Like, if you played Uprising, it really involved a lot of meta humor. I only watched uh, Chugga Conroy's uh, playthrough of it. And you don't want to fall in the... Lava, obviously, because, well, you'll take damage. You do have, like, one second to react, so if you're actually... Thankfully... If you're smart, you'd actually be fine. I think I'm doing, what, three damage a hit to this guy? Yeah, three damage, because that's my strength, is three. So if you have one strength, you'll do one damage, two strength, two... So that's why strength's actually important. Or having a lot of soldiers. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And this is all he does. That's it. He is literally your geometry. Do you know geometry? I know I don't. But I'd totally be down for racing this game, because it's not... It's, you know, the start is hard. I will always agree with that. I'll... I'll never disagree with someone's, like, the start of a Kid Icarus game is easy. No, it's not. It's always gonna be... It's always difficult. 
Like, the game gets easier as it goes on. But it also becomes a lot more entertaining? I guess might be actually the right word to use. This is actually probably, this and the next stage is probably actually where if you can get hammers, get hammers. I forgot to mention, the other reason why we're actually killing all of uh, Medusa's minions here. Uh, well, we're after the three sacred treasures. As you remember them, the armor, the shield, and the bow. I completely forgot about that aspect when I said I was covering the story. You take a lot of damage, though, if you get hit by... Uh... There we go. There's our treasure. We don't actually have to touch it, but hey, we got it. And you still take damage in the lava. I think there's one more heart container? Ah, but this is where... This is where the rage starts, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see... This is where the rage starts. So... All those feathers we could have bought. Oh, we finally also have fire arrows now, too. So... This actually will just increase our damage on our arrows. This, this is where most people, like, really lose their nut on Kid Icarus. This game is not nice. And that's why you should, like, find those feathers. It's important. Damn it! Stop spawning on my feet. Really, would like to actually use my footing. Also, it makes your hitbox for your arrow. The fire arrows also make the hitbox of your arrows a lot bigger. But this is why people hated Kid Icarus. Thankfully, if you have enough strength, you can kill... You should be able to kill Grim Reaper really quickly now. Oh, right! Uh, I forgot, those are thieves. Uh... Got... I'd really like to be able to focus on that. Uh... I don't know if I can kill those guys, actually. I can't remember, actually. I don't think you can. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's a proximity thing. Nice and close. Oh, just have to go the other way. Oh, goodness, this game uses Ice Climber's design. Hang on a second. I actually have an idea. This is gonna be dumb, but it might actually work. Need to do. I go. Okay, good. He's gone. Huzzah! The th the great the grave robbers are gone. I hate those thieves. Ah! No! No! I pressed left when I wanted to just go up. <laughs> oh, whoopsie! Whoopsie doodle. I love how we made it through the hard part of 401, but okay, no problem. Uh, let's just die to some because we got scare, scare snakes. All right, let's try that again with more feeling. I don't know 
why I did that. That was actually kind of dumb. But getting kills in this game and your high score is actually important in this game. It really is. Like, I can't actually stress that enough when it comes to uh, playing Kid Icarus. And I know it sounds weird that it, it really shouldn't be, but it actually is important. Nope, can't get that one. Come on. Really? There. Really shouldn't have done that, actually. That was actually really dumb in retrospect. But if, like, I would recommend, if it's your first time playing this game, buy at least one feather. Maybe two. Because they're important. Deal with you, Grim Reaper. gonna wait for that bullet. Alright, I guess there are two of them. Or take a, take a hit. Fine. Don't you even cause me to do that. I'll be absolutely livid. Also, I'm just gonna take the hit there. I'm just gonna start taking the hits. All these soldiers working for Medusa. How dare they? Honestly, like, I think that's kind of one thing you end up just accepting. There are gonna be times where you just have to take the hits. And it's better, like, it's more of a vet, you know, thing you learn as a veteran. You just learn to take the hits. Plus, also, I have the luxury of the, um, of the crystal rod there as one of my weapons, so there's a, there's like a 50-50 chance I'll at least be able to block the shot. I'll, I'll basically be protected. Nice! Only takes three hits now to kill uh, the Grim Reaper. Actually, glad I got enough point, uh, enough skill to actually cap that. Ah! Then... By the way, you can actually half land on those platforms. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> Which, thankfully for us, it did. about you at all. Uh, I... See? That's what the crystal shield's for. Really useful. This you don't actually have to do. I don't actually have to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm trying to remember, there was a way... There was, like, always a spot. Like in this and with the room with the noses, I think actually this was the spot, but the re but you had to be very careful. Like there would some just would try and sweep, you know, basically sweep the leg, sweep the ground right out from under you. I would also recommend don't get greedy in these rooms. These rooms you just want to focus on survival. You don't actually get a second one of these, you just, it, they just... It's like, here you go, if you're, because your weapons get stolen. Or more, more than likely, your weapons actually got stolen in the previous stage. More than likely. Actually, we have four strength, I'm not gonna worry about this anymore. Ah, oh, just so off, I'm dumb. I should have farmed a little bit more hearts. Oh well, that's fine. We have five heart. We have five heart containers. What can go wrong? 
said every single player person who plays games ever. All right, you. Also, it might just be me, but I actually just love the music. I don't... Yeah, no. Just not even gonna deal with it. Why? <sighs> Whatever. Jump on that. Jump on that. The octopus! They've gotten bigger! Music's... Well, it's because you're ascending to... to heaven. You're ascending to Angel World. Like, remember, the underworld has taken over... the Angel Realm, so... <laughs> kind of makes sense, actually. I don't know why I did that. That was actually dumb. I don't think there's any more strength door... like, uh, strength up doors, though. From here on out, I can't remember. Grab that. I can't grab that, though. I just want to farm a little more hearts. Might have a chance of buying a... <laughs> I was wondering when the slowdown was actually going to happen. Grab those. It's always, just to let you know, the enemies always spawn in waves of four. If you're ever curious on when they're actually going to stop spawning, four. It's always four. So the reason actually you walk down to the bottom, like the reason why I wasn't jumping for the second heart there, is as you notice, is the more you jump, the more likely, uh, well you see the stage scale upward, or start scrolling upwards. And that's what you really want to watch out for. Hot spring, sweet. So this is actually the last world before we actually fight, uh, the final stage. And we got those, and let's get on out of here. I think we might be able to get one more heart container, or endurance bar. I think this was, nope, actually I think it might have been five, might have been the max. Alright. He wants to throw a bunch of points at me, fine. I am okay with that. As well as hearts, I would like to buy some bottles. I'm done messing around here, let's... Do some ascending. You might notice. I'm actually surprised they're de spawning. I swear that's actually the worst area to get the harp. The harp doesn't do anything here. Well, it doesn't do anything useful for me at least. They made sure you have to jump on each respective platform. 
But the reason why you want to get those, uh... Like I said, every single kill matters. Who gave me the host? I really wish that like the Twitch chat itself would actually say like who gave you the host. Was that Wayward? It was Wayward. I actually wasn't able to look. I was too busy concentrating. I'm gonna buy another bottle there. Buying from the black market, always. Boy. No. Let's just keep ascending for now. Oh, come on! Let me get a shot in here. If you have got, if you have decent platforming skills, you should be, like, it'll be, give you trouble still. So I think I've been very fortunate this run through. I've only died three times? Maybe four? about those guys anymore. How many points do I have? Almost 300,000. And I'm trying to remember, actually. There's... So this game actually does have multiple endings. Not in the traditional way, I guess you'd say. This game does have multiple endings. But it's not... Like... The ending itself is still the standard happy ending. But you'll see... We definitely are going to beat this game tonight. I don't care if it actually will take us an extra, like... If we're fortunate... I take another... Okay. Alright. You want to you wanna freeze the game? Fine, uh, Grim Reaper. It can be that way. Oh no! That was a little too close for comfort. Ah. The savior. Savior 87. If I remember if I remember his number his number call correctly. I believe it was the Savior 87. So the reason I've been buying bottles here, if you see the barrel there with two, that means I have two bottles in the barrel. Uh, normally you can only have one bottle, but if you buy the barrel, you can actually store multiples. So we're gonna buy another bear. We'll buy another bottle, and we'll see if we can buy another one. Well, thank you very much, Savior, for the host. Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, actually... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll buy hammers. Hammers are actually important. Haven't been able to get any hammers. Ah, darn. Mm. Eh, fine. We're already on stage 3-3, three, three, so this actually doesn't matter. I'm hoping for another hammer. Nope, okay, we're out of here. Nope, not dealing with you guys. See you later, octopus. So many octopus in this game. Or octopi. Yeah, I think five, actually, five might be the max, actually. So, here we are in three, four. So, uh, we have one hammer. We're doing good. We're, we're, it, it, we're doing excellent here. I'm trying to remember... Like I said, I'm basically... I have a vague 
memory of each of these areas. Right, this is where things start to really say, hey, screw you. Uh, this is the map. Might actually buy the pencil and torch. Assuming we actually get enough hearts. So the pencil and torch, uh, pencil marks your progress. So if you've been in an area, you'll... I don't know why I did that. Um... The pencil will actually leave a mark, uh, of the borders of the actual dungeon itself. The torch will highlight where you are specifically. Might actually end up being to end up buying them. Whether we have to or not, well, that'll be all dependent on me. And my ability to actually navigate through a dungeon. So far, it's pretty rewarding. Ah, you found a hot spring. Centurion. I don't remember if this was the right way or not. No, it wasn't. Okay, so we basically just went in a full circle. So that was an entire circle, so I want to keep on exploring. Ah, darn it, went too early. Hello, gnomish men. That's... that's a point of no return. So what's this way, then? Dead end. Okay. And as you can tell, if they're a blue enemy, they're weaker, and if they're a red, they're a stronger enemy. And of course, they'll give more hearts. Right, and I guess it takes four hits for these guys. But, like, your basic big tell. Yeah, that was a full circle, I think. It was, it was a full circle. Okay. Yep, there's, this is the right way. How do you tell you're going the right way in, in a dungeon? Are there eggplants? Are there eggplant wizards? No, you're going the wrong way. God, if you can't, you have to be doing a standstill jump. They really like to use that death, this death trap. Say that much right now. They like to use that a lot. I can't get over there. Yeah, this works. Enemies do hit pretty hard, I will say that much right now. Oh. I'm gonna take a chance. Yeah, so this actually might be the right way. Uh, 
Can't tell if this is actually the right way or not. I'm gonna regret doing this, but... I think I have to go in a full I have to go all the way around again. Yep, yeah, I think I might have to go all the way around again. Uh, actually... Nope, I don't. This actually might be a good thing. Actually, I think I am going the right way. I might be going the right way, guys! No, I'm not going the right way. And there's apparently a second hot spring in this area. Eggplant! Damn it! <sighs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen. And we have to find the nurse. To the hospital! Wherever the hospital is, we don't know where it is actually. That's not it. You can't actually attack at all while you're an eggplant. Uh, while you're an eggplant. So, kind of tanking a lot of damage here. And you definitely don't want to go through the boss door while, <laughs> while having the eggplant curse. Oh, thank you. Alright. Well, at least I know where I am. At least I think I know where I am. Self-direction is not one of my strong suits, just to let you know. I'm gonna see if I can get another hammer. Can. Might actually just be able to buy a bunch of hammers. Yeah, so it's stock is static. Actually, I'm okay with this. Keep selling me hammers. I want more centurions. I need more friends. This boss actually is a lot harder than nor uh, than the other two. Not that difficult, but still, it's something you want. Any more any more firepower you can get, the better. Even though the only the centurions only shoot straight. There we go. Up. Huh. Dead end. Alright. Hey, two for one. I didn't even I didn't even know you could do that. I'm actually amazed I went through all that without getting hit. Alright, so what's this way then? Right, dead end. Actually, not a dead end. Centurion. Alright, so... What we need to do now... Probably just head back to where the eggplant wizards are. Probably for the best right now. Alright, 
That's not the way. I don't know the way. Do you know the way? I know I don't. I'm actually gonna go back to the hot spring. The hot spring, so... Think about this. I think I'm in the right area. have anything else, did it? No, so this is not the right way. So it's not that way, so I guess up is my only other course of action right now. Let's go up! Damn it. Fast enough on that one. All right. Uh. Shoot. I am. I. Re I. I've actually now gone full circle. So left wasn't the right direction. Let's try right. Oh, I can't go that right. Oh, that's where the boss is. Never mind. Hi, boss. Down. Something tells me it's down. There's actually no more point to stacking hearts. I might just be walking the wrong direction here. I'm walking the wrong direction. So if you got eggplant, I think that was that's your meal ticket out. Damn it! I was hoping I wouldn't get hit. Oh. Now I'm really confused here. I'm going in a circle. I know I'm going in a circle now. Yeah, I'm going in... Regular shoots and ladders here, ladies and gentlemen. I was going the right direction, but I decided to go the other way. I should have gone. I should have gone up instead of down. That's no, no, that's not the one. Damn it! Ah, fine, whatever. I know where the hospital is now. Get the sliding. I guess I don't know where the hospital is. At least you can always be the sliding eggplant. Alright. This is hopefully... Where the hell is the hospital now? <laughs> I actually forgot where the hospital is. There it is, thank you. That was actually gonna... That was actually gonna drive me nuts a bit. Alright, let's go. The, the reason for the pen and paper, or the pen and torch, is I would know, I would definitely know now which was the, which would, which way would be the right direction.
Come on. Damn it, that's not the way I want to go. Yeah, so it it is actually it was both actually. Yeah, so if you avoid if you actually are successful avoiding the eggplants, like so, you're meant to go up, not down. Come on, really. This is actually what they want you to do. Not get hit! You know what? I'm actually just gonna tank it. So if you feel like you don't have enough health and stuff, they'll give you plenty of uh, moments to effectively turn back. But because we have so many bottles, we should be fine. So as long as we keep on heading, uh, keep on heading right. Should be okay. Or I, I hate you, game. Maybe not. No, no, that was apparently it. So here's Pandora. I don't know if you remember her, but this is what Pandora looked like back in the day. <laughs> and I just lost three of my guys. And I just lost all my centurions in one go because of those stupid bubbles. So, you have to hit Pandora in the face. Uh. Unfortunately, hitting Pandora is a little bit difficult. I think you have to hit her in the lips. Yep, this, this, that, this is what Pandora looked like, and this is what their their way to make the boss really difficult was. Where, I guess now she, ah, uh, would blend in with the... Really, really don't want to be... <sighs> really? I at least have three bottles now. I really shouldn't worry about dying, but it's still something you should always be wary of. Now, Centur- it can be nice, it all depends on the RNG. Like I said, those balls there are basically Centurion killers. Because the, the Centurions are always going to stand above you. Or float, uh, fly above you. Because everyone else can fly except for Pit. Really like it if these guys. Oh. I would love to jump and shoot, but he's the two orbs are just constantly in the way. There we go. Like, she. Pandora can die very quickly, but also at the same time can take a while to kill. I'm actually surprised that didn't hit me. You jerk. Wow, that's a mean, mean <laughs> orb. Wow, okay, two hits apparently is all I'm gonna be able to take from those things. Like, that's why they gave you so many opportunities to turn around.
like if you know for a lot of people to say like this is their you know game that's difficult you know for me like a game like Ghosts and Goblins that's difficult to me but to other people this is actually their game that where they get stuck on Oh, don't touch me. Nothing happens to you if you get touched by Pandora. You don't turn into an eggplant, despite kind of looking like an eggplant. Actually, I don't even think Pandora has a hitbox. Nope! Like, Centar like I said, Centarians can be really, really good for this fight, or they can be really just a waste. I mean, it didn't hurt, considering I don't memorize the, uh, the route in this place. Oh, I did the dumb. Come on. One more hit, that's all I need. There you go. There you go. Now to the final stage. Now we have a shoot 'em up se section. Let's pr let's try and not die. I would like to not die. All oh, right, the clouds will bounce you upwards if you land too far down. You can also just uh, intersect with everything, so you don't have to actually uh, worry too much about everything. This is the last of Medusa's forces. You only had one shot on screen at a time. Really? Solar Knight, thank you very much for the host, Solar Knight. I don't know why you're not... I thought you were... playing with John still. I have got to pay attention here. I have one bottle left. Shot to count. Ah, of course. So the reason why it's actually good not to collect the hearts on this is the enemies here will actually uh, respawn, and obviously you don't want that to happen. So it's actually good. And, you know, if you need hearts and you're gonna do like another round, because there is a true ending. I guess you could say there's a true ending to this game. And like I said, this game has multiple endings. I mean, we're talking like five different endings here. We probably will not get the um, the best ending. I could just tell you that right now. Not because of I can't remember what the criteria was. If it was score based, or if it was how much strength you had, or if you had ev you know, collected everything. Like I said, that's just something I haven't done the research on. Which I think we have to do one more lap. Oh. 
Oh, never mind. It's only two. There we go. Medusa's, here's Medusa. So what we actually need to do... We can actually... We need to hit our eye. We can actually manage that. There we go. Oh, use my bottle. There you go, this is the spot. So there's always a spot where you could actually basically cheese the boss. This is it. It took a little while. Because she'll always be angling down at you. I think the only thing that can actually hit you is a snake. And goodbye, Medusa. <laughs> so I became a centurion. And there you go. That's Kid Icarus. Medusa was destroyed and the light of peace returned to Angelland. In order to maintain peace, its struggles continue. Even back in the day, people had online names, or personas. Hip Tanaka. It's gone by Yokoi. It's a fun game. Like I said, I like it. You're, you know, I died a couple of times there. Really touch and go. If I didn't buy those bottles constantly, I easily would have gamed over multiple times. Probably around seven, eight times instead of the four. I think we died. I think we died four times. Probably would have gone up to eight or nine if I didn't keep buying those bottles. Um, even use the bottle on the final battle there. But I enjoy this game, and as I said, this game actually has multiple endings, so if you actually don't do great, as in like you have a really low score, you have, I think, low strength, uh, I think you actually get turned into like a little, uh, like a little reaper demon. I think that might have been taken out in the American version, though. Uh, but the true ending... Enjoy your stay. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, uh... Izosh? Izosh? I, I honestly have been struggling to actually try and figure out how to say your name. I, Izosh. I feel so bad saying that. I feel so bad saying your name improperly. I apologize for that. I always try- I always make an effort to try and make sure I can't say people's, uh... Izzy? Ikshi? Oh, I'm actually confused which, uh, X sound I should actually make. Like, Zai? Is he or is I? A lot of a lot of names. That always that always very difficult for me to say. Like I said, I apologize if I get it wrong. Ixi. But the moment you press start, everything carries over. So getting the actual better endings become a whole lot easier. So, Zai, so... Ijai? Is that it? Ijai? Guess that would be it?
So, if you literally... Like I said, this game constantly just goes in a loop. So, even just by simply playing, you will get... Uh, you will effectively get the tier ending. Until these steal your weapons. That's also... A, that's also... A... I'm not trolling you. No, I... Okay, I studied... I may only know English, but I studied Japanese. So, I try and... It's really helped me a lot, oddly enough, to use the Japanese alphabet to pronounce a lot of people's online names properly. So, it becomes very... So, when I see an online name... You know, I try and say it phonetically in my head, and I've been doing it for so long, it gets mixed up. So, when I actually say I'm sorry, I literally mean I apologize. So, so like, my X sound right here, I, you know, say in my head is Xi, so like xylophone. So, uh, Izzy would actually be the best, the, the one way I would think of, but then I think... Well, the other way you would say it is Ijai. So, like I said, it's it's just something that I've had uh, to deal with. Yeah, getting X sounds are always really, really difficult. X sounds are always going to be difficult no matter what language you're... Actually, now that I think about it, <laughs> X sounds don't technically exist in the Japanese language. Um, it'll be G or G. But that's for another time. Either way, though, I would say... I think it was it actually like E7 actually did like a uh, Krushi. They actually the localization went out of the way to spell out how you would pronounce it phonetically. And that's the way I would actually like with a name like yours there, uh Isios. That's what I would do for people who try and get your name correct or not. I don't know how often people get your name pronounce your name incorrectly or correctly, but that's just one of those things. By the way, though, that's going to do it for us tonight. I'm going to stop streaming here, as I, I always stream 8 to 10, try and do something. Uh, I know we haven't beaten a lot. Of, we technically have been beating games, but we've been beating games that I already know or have beaten in my past. And just because we talked about Kid Icarus, I'm gonna actually just going to let the music play here because it's really good music. Thank you for the background while you clink. Hey, no problem. Happy to help out. I want to take a look here and see who is streaming right now. We actually have four people streaming right now. Uh, so there are... So there's uh, Gerard, the completionist. He's actually streaming Great Friends of Musashi. I don't know if he's still with the Gaming Historian. Uh, if you want to check out his channel, it's The Completionist. Uh, and next, of course, we have Proton John. He's actually doing a multiplayer night of Dead Space 2. If you have a Steam... If you have the copy... If it's Steam copy of Dead Space 2 and you have an EA account, you can actually go online right now, uh, just play quick match, and you might actually get paired up against Proton John. So he's doing that for his stream tonight. Uh, New York Video Game Freak, if you're a huge sports fan, he is actually streaming MLB The Show 2017. He's breaking in his new capture card. And finally, Shout Factory TV, uh, they are actually doing another Mystery Science Theater 3000 marathon. If you don't know if you never heard of mystery, mystery science theater 3000 imagine watching you're basically watching bad movies and you're mocking them making parodies and stuff and that is what it is it's very entertaining i also recommend it to watch but for now though i'm gonna give a little uh, raid over to the completionist thought it'd be nice to say hello to him because very friends musashi is a really good game and you should really check it out but that's gonna do it for me tomorrow Unfortunately, I haven't really had things planned ahead in advance, but as always, I'll post an event and you'll see what we'll be doing tomorrow. Until then, though, thank you very much for watching, and take care. <laughs>